Right, 25 February 2024. And today I'm going to give you a very, very quick update on the Sunday stories. Uh, today is a day when the whole of Africa is mourning the passing of uh, Namibian President Heg Gengob. So there is a full program on uh, President Heg uh, Gengob, which is going to take place today. The burial is starting today at 10 a.m. And it will take place for two hours at the National Heroes Acre of Namibia. So that is where the burial is going to take place. And yesterday there was a memorial. Uh, during the memorial, uh, a lot of people spoke. Uh, and ED is over there in uh, Namibia. Other people who are over there include the president of Botswana and uh, Neo Jane Masisi. I think she flew on the jet of Mnangagwa uh, when she traveled over there. I don't know how they met, met up because uh, she's over there. But there was something very, very significant yesterday uh, which happened when the first lady of uh, Namibia spoke. She gave a memorial speech for her late husband. And it became clear to me that uh, people in, or leaders in Southern Africa are very concerned about what ED is doing and what ED is planning with the term. So I want to show you a clip from the speech of the First Lady, Monica Gengob, and she gave an insight into what uh, the, pre the late president thought of what ED is doing with the third term. So I want to, obviously she didn't name him, but she, it was clear who she was referring to here. So I want to show you uh, what she said about the third term. And it's clear that ED needs to revise his beliefs in the third term. Uh, it's not popular at all. And African leaders are embarrassed about what ED is trying to do here in Zimbabwe. So let me show you what she said, and then we'll take it from there. ...of a hero. My husband was an honest man. A man who spoke his mind, even when it was inconvenient and uncomfortable to do so. He's blunt when discussing third terms and leaders who overstay their welcome. In reflection, Hagi and I were informed by doctors on 16 January 2024 that he had cancer after a biopsy. We went to our first oncology visit on the 17th of January to devise a treatment plan. And on right, so I'm going to stop this video at this point. And I want to just speak a little bit about what she said there. Haig was blamed about uh, what he thought of third terms and African leaders who overstayed their welcome. And she was speaking to ED. Uh, and it's clear here. Uh, you, you saw Nelson Chamisa was at the Namibian embassy. Uh, on, I think it was on Friday or, or Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. It's clear that this is a very uncomfortable topic. What ED is doing in Zimbabwe is very, very embarrassing. And he thinks that he's doing something big and exciting and he's showing power. But many African leaders don't actually like what ED is doing. And the first lady there, she made it a point to state this. This was at the halfway point of a speech. You can go and see that speech on NBC Digital. That is the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation. She gave a, a, a 20 minute speech. And this is a key point that she's making that African leaders who overstay their welcome and who change constitutions are an embarrassment. Look what is happening in Botswana. Uh, if you look at Botswana, a report came out this week that Masisi has destroyed the democracy in Botswana. So now we have Botswana, we have uh, Zimbabwe, and then previously Edgar Lungu in Zambia. These guys, they, they are sharing that bridge uh, and they're all trying to destroy democracy in Africa. At least uh, President Haka Indi Chilema came and fixed the problems in Zambia. But the damage that these guys are causing with their third term bids is very dangerous and also the use of state apparatus against opponents so if you look at what masis is doing against karma and what uh, edgar lungu did against uh, president hakainde chilema and what ed is doing against chamisa it's clear that you've got what i can call an excess of evil <laughs> over in, in southern africa 
but it's clear that there's also a lot of president that don't like what is happening uh, i don't think uh, the kind of things that these guys are doing would fly in a, in a place like south africa where moderate party democracy is very very active and people actually like and encourage opposition parties and new opposition parties come up every day but in countries like zimbabwe once someone gets into office they start appointing their sons they start trying to go with that term they decimate the opposition and this is what the first lady was saying here i want to go into another uh, few stories there's not many stories today i've looked at the newspapers around and they're quite dry uh, they, there's not much happening except the, the funeral of um, uh, president gingop the rest of the the stuff is is actually very very dry and in terms of pictures i think i'll show you a few pictures of uh, the funeral and ed what is doing there ED try to explain the relationship between Zimbabwe and Namibia, but it's clear to me that there was not much relationship, and the late president did not want or encourage what ED was doing in Zimbabwe. What ED is doing is very, very dangerous, especially with the third term bid. That is one of the most dangerous things that will bring Zimbabwe back to its old. Uh, you remember when, when things really got bad in Zimbabwe? This is exactly what is going to happen in Zimbabwe if this is allowed to continue. Uh, the third term bid is one of the worst ideas that ED has ever came up with. And I, I think, let me show you some pictures of who was there. Uh, and then I'll go into a few more stories. There's only a few stories today. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll have more stories. And last night I did make a video. So let's look at what Mnangaba is up to. So if you look at the, uh, the pictures here, you see that uh, that's ED uh, with Mam Nangaba there. Uh, and then there's ED when he was being welcomed, and then ED standing next to Masisi, president of, and then the president of Germany, Walter Stimmia, third from left, Finnish president, Saul Nisto, and Angolan president, Yahoo Larenko. So those are the president who are there. And then obviously there is Namibian president, Hifi Kupenyo Pohamba, and the current president of Namibia is president nangola mbumba he was the vice president i think he's been promoted to president ever since the death of the current president so that is the the current setting in in namibia yesterday the funeral as i said is today at 10 a.m ending at 12 a.m and then you can always look at the video of the first lady slamming uh, the third term a uh, bid of the presidents who overstayed their welcome uh, in power african presidents especially there is no country which would uh, <laughs> in europe let's say or in america or whatever we'll say let's change our, our constitution so that the new the current president we have stays longer it's crazy that will never happen but here in zimbabwe would ed basically doing that uh, trying to make sure that we put a third term for him uh, which is crazy uh, i want to also look at a few pictures let's see if there's pictures no we don't have any pictures today so let's look at the, the videos. What stories do we have? We have Maponga is with Woda Godemaya in the Caribbean. I don't know if you've seen that story. Uh, I think Maponga and Wodemaya, they are trying to capture Wodemaya, and Wodemaya doesn't know that he's been captured by Zanu uh, I don't know. I, I, I spent a, time, a bit of time with Maponga. I don't think Maponga is Zanu PF. But I think he is. Uh, just a crazy person, right? <laughs> Maponga is a crazy person. I don't think he's an MPF uh, like at heart. And my understanding is that Tagure and Maponga grew up together. So like the same age, that's my understanding. Uh, I don't know how old Maponga is, but uh, definitely uh, Wodemaya is getting closer and closer to these guys in Zanu PF, uh, Rotendo, uh, what uh, uh, Bishop Maponga and so forth. So I don't know where that is going, but it's probably not a very good idea. So the video is on what the Maya's YouTube channel. You can go and see it. Uh, let me show you uh, the video. I'm not going to play a whole bit of it, otherwise I'll get some strikes. So that is the video there. It's called "Why I Was Deported from uh, Republic to Jamaica, Dominican Republic to Jamaica, Maponga." So you can go and have a look. Very interesting discussion. Uh, but as I said, 
I don't know. I don't know about the uh, the senior relationship between Zarpiv and Wodemeyer, uh, where it's going to go. Then we've got a story in the uh, standard newspaper, and this is to do with a lady called Gutai Lisa Mary Mutuke. She is a friend of ED, and she's seized cork, so coal from the Chinese company, which is owned by Feng Guo, worth 700,000 US dollars. She's also linked to the Kotko scandal. So you can go and have a look at that story. And then, uh, obviously, we've got the tourist who is missing in Zimbabwe. There's a tourist who went missing at the Victoria Falls, and they've been looking for him for the past three days. So they, they believe that he probably plunged into the gorge or something got him in the in the rainforest so that is the current situation that we have so i don't have any more stories to give you today this is what i wanted to give you but the key story is that the first lady of uh, namibia during her speech has revealed that the past the, the former president or the late president Heg Gengob, did not like what is happening with all these presidents that overstay in office and who go for third terms. And this was said in front of Mnangagwa. And you know who is looking for a third term in Africa. So it was said right in his face uh, that the late president, Hegen Gop, was opposed to that behavior of third terms. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow with the other updates. And I hope you have a great day. Please go and look at all the other videos that we've done this weekend, including the one I did last night on how the rotation works in Sadak. Many people don't understand how rotation works and why ED is not going to be the next chairperson of Sadak. So thank you very much. And I don't see many, many comments here. So let's see if anyone is asking me a question before I go. Otherwise, I'll be that guy who just talks without listening. Uh, Mkoma Chao says, yes, Chango Mbea also get everywhere. Could I want to support or buy another president support? Yes, that is it. Um, and then Tulan says, Pachaneza, ED, Anotoda, Zukfirapo, Hapana, Munanofirapo, by office in Zimbabwe. I'm telling you, if ED tries that thing of a third term, you are going to see people that have never seen appearing and, and dealing with the situation. Then Glotin Kiwan is saying, Gamako, how difficult is it for you and the rest of Zimbabwe who are in the diaspora to inform those other countries about the president who developed territorial tendencies? It's not difficult to, at all. But what happens is that once these guys get into office, it's very difficult for them to, to leave because there's a lot of money involved, especially in Southern Africa. So Mnangabwani then wants to put his son into, his, uh, into, his, into office so that when he leaves, his son can take over and then it becomes a dynasty. That is the problem. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. And I'll talk to you, to you again tomorrow 